Ah, you're up. We've been wondering when you'd come around. You've been wondering? Do you know me? Because I'm feeling a bit groggy, and I'm not really sure where I am or how I got here. Well, my friend, welcome to Jacob's Inn. We're always open. I'm Jacob. I'm Micah. Jacob's Inn, huh? Never heard of it. And in what city might you be located? Just outside of Jerusalem, right off of the Jericho Road. Jerusalem? Jericho? Wait a minute. Now I'm starting to remember. I was traveling from Jericho to Jerusalem when... You were attacked by robbers and left for dead. Uh, that's right. How did you know? That's what he told me. That's what who told you? The man who brought you in three days ago. Who was he? Uh, I, I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me. He didn't leave a name? No, he just left you and instructions to look after you until you were well. Was he a policeman? Because I thought I saw a policeman while I was lying on the road. No, he wasn't a policeman. They don't really go on the Jericho Road after dark. I think even they're afraid of robbers. Could he have been a paramedic or a doctor of some sort? No, if he were a doctor, he would have taken you to the hospital, not to my inn. This really doesn't make sense. Can you describe him? Maybe if you identify his tribe, I can locate his family or something. His tribe? Yes, so what tribe of Israel did he come from? My friend, I don't even think he was Jewish. Of course he was Jewish. Who else would help me? From his accent, I would say he was Samaritan. A Samaritan? Don't mock me, I spit at Samaritans. Why would one of them help me? That I can't say. All I know is that if he hadn't helped you, you would have been dead three days ago. I would rather be dead than accept the help of one of those. That's your choice. So, uh, how much do I owe you? My friend, you don't owe a thing. The Samaritan paid your debt before he left. <laughs> That's nonsense. I'm a proud Jew and I pay my own debt. I'm afraid you couldn't pay me even if you wanted to. You were robbed. You have no money. But my family lives close by. I can go and get the money for you. There's no need. Your debt has been paid in full. I can't accept anything over that amount. I can't believe this. I'm always beaten to death. And now I must go and accept the aid of a... Samaritan? Excuse me, but shouldn't you be thankful that somebody was willing to stop and help you? I'll be thankful when I get home to my own family, when I'm with my own people. Well, if my bill is paid, I'll be on my way. You owe me nothing. I wish you safe travels. Shalom. Shalom.